Now yeah. bring in Mary Ellen O'Toole, retired FBI special agent and director of the Forensic Sciences Program at George Mason University. Uh, Mary Ellen, thanks for joining me this morning. Talk about a weekend. I mean, in just a couple days, you had four arrests and the discovery of what will likely be the bodies of the two moms. We're expecting that press <laughs> conference today from OSBI. As a retired FBI agent yourself, what are you expecting to come of that later today? What I would be expecting at this point, short of any um, additional information in the next couple of hours, is that they will have identified the two bodies that they found. They will um, provide the cause of death. To me, it was really interesting that they already established the manner of death, suicide, uh, homicide, before they even found the two bodies. So they must have a lot of forensic evidence there that allowed them to reach that conclusion. But I would expect that they will um, finalize that. Um, I, they may amend the charges as well. Those are very serious charges uh, to be filed preliminarily. So um, we'll see whether or not they will um, amend those charges based on what they've learned happened at that crime scene. Yeah, and you bring me to my next question uh, with the charges and the evidence. The suspects were all charged with a couple counts of first degree murder, kidnapping, conspiracy to commit murder in the first degree. Just based on hearing that, what would evidence have to look like, Mary Ellen, for investigators uh, to bring those charges against them and take them into custody? Such a great question. It would have to be pretty significant. It would have to be information that came from probably several sources. One of them would be the forensics. That would be very important. And they, it sounds like they were able to determine a lot from um, the vehicle. So the forensic evidence is going to be very important and very critical. But secondly, they probably had human source information. And by that, I mean, when you have four people who possibly couldn't be involved in something like this, especially something where you're looking at um, the severest of charges, it's not unlikely that somebody talked in order to even reduce their charges or that somebody told somebody else and it ends up on Facebook. So I think they probably had that information as well so they could put the two together, but it looks like authorities were absolutely confident that they got it right yeah. again before they even identified the the two bodies yeah i'm curious what these four are saying uh just behind the scenes here uh we're waiting and standing by to see what osbi has to share today mary ellen o'toole i'm so sorry but i have to leave it there thank you for hopping on with me thanks for watching everybody go to joinnn.com to find news nation on your television provider also don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of news nation's fact-driven unbiased coverage